Hello and welcome to this video. Previews in Exocode are a powerful tool to visualize your SwiftUI views while building them. This is one of the things SwiftUI developers love the most. But it is also worth to mention that sometimes they are really laggy. And today, while browsing my uh, Twitter feed, I came across a tweet from uh, one of my following saying, saying this. And uh, it made me think uh, about doing this video. So um, the problem he has is actually um, uh, his previews are, um, are crashing, uh, certainly. And he is on a M1 Pro machine. Right, and um, among the solution given, uh, we have uh, the modularity. Yeah, um, modularity definitely uh, does help, but uh, today I'm here to show you two other simple ways to, uh, to fix those uh, Xcode previews issue for good. And uh, let's see that. So I have here an iOS app called Sharabia, uh, which is an app to track uh, uh, the memory, the memories of your kid, uh, like the gibberish uh, he is saying while learning uh, to speak, and uh, other uh, favorite moments you have with your kid. Uh, this is an app I, um, I was building, um, and I had this idea from, uh, uh, from my little daughter, um, and. Uh, in order to use this app, you need uh, first to log in, and this is a splash view uh, with um, two buttons, um, and uh, they are here. Yeah, so you can log in with Apple or uh, with Google, and let's try to preview that. Uh, I think that it is going to work. Yeah, so definitely it's not working. So uh, we currently have this uh, this issue. So you have the build which is uh, successful, right? We we don't have any error, but uh, here, yeah. So uh, for the second time for the second build, we actually have. Uh, uh, the preview running, but let's assume that uh, uh, we still have uh, some issue running, um, running, showing this uh, preview. Okay. First, let's take a minute and uh, talk about uh, the main causes of this issue. The first issue is uh, when you have um, errors in your build, so previews uh, will simply crash. Because don't forget that uh, previews are uh, like uh, minion apps running on the simulator. And uh, if you want to render something on the simulator, you first need to have a clean build without any issue. So make sure to fix all the build errors before trying to render your Swift UI view. And uh, the second one, which is uh, way more common, is the view dependency. If your view depends on uh, many side effects, or uh, maybe it depends on a view that has uh, some side effects or long computation, your previews won't work as expected. They load for a moment before you seeing them uh, crashing. Let me show you the first solution to get this uh, preview uh, running again. I'm going to make myself uh, some space here, close the sidebar. And, uh, okay, let's uh, close this as well. Okay, so um, the first solution is actually using a protocol, right? Uh, think about it. Previews are just uh, a view rendering uh, some strings, right? So what you can do is uh, to extract all those uh, simple da uh, data, like uh, those strings, into a protocol. Right, and uh, let's see uh, what strings do we have in in this view. I'm going to uh, to highlight the view model, and for the view model, we have uh, not only strings, but we have also some boolean, right? Yeah, like is loading. We have some actions as well, like uh, authentication, authenticate with Apple Tapped, and uh, we actually don't even have uh, strings, right? And uh, what we are going to do is inject, introduce a protocol uh, called uh, Splashable. And uh, I'm just going to copy and paste, okay? And 
in this protocol, we are going to uh, have some variables representing uh, the state of the view. Okay, so uh, you can see it here. I have is loading authenticate with Apple tapped and authenticate with Google tapped as well. So I'm just going uh, to um, to add those fields inside uh, the protocol. And now what I can do is just replace that uh, view model with the protocol. So I have here splashable, I'm going to call it. Uh, yes, which is just a splashable and I'm going to inject it here. And what this will allow me to do is uh, just to inject uh, splashable, right. What this will allow me to do is uh, to inject a mock splashable uh, for my previews, okay? And not rely on uh, any other side effects, okay? So you can see here that uh, we have some uh, build issues. Uh, so here it will be uh, just splashable, okay? I'm just going to replace this, right? splashable here and uh, here we can see that um, for the previews we need a splashable um, entity right and I'm going to uh, let's create one uh, very quick okay I'm just going to copy and pass and here I have a mock splashable which implements the splashable right and uh, here I just need to do mock splashable is loading false uh, and give uh, some default values. Let's build and run and see if we have uh, some errors. Yeah, we do. But, uh, here we need uh, indeed um, a splashable. So I'm going to create here a struct uh, called the default, uh, default splashable maybe here and here for the splash view I'm just going to say that uh, I this is the default splashable and uh, for the is loading it is the view model that is loading now view model that authenticate with Apple and view model that authenticate not view did load view model uh, dot authenticate with Google and So now let's build and run and see if uh, we get uh, any errors. No, build succeeded. I can go back to this view and try to preview it. Okay, let's try to run it. Boom, voila. And uh, we can see that uh, it is running now. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it is running. So the first option is uh, yeah to definitely use a protocol, uh, mock that protocol and uh, use it uh, inside your uh, your Swift UI previews. And uh, let's see now uh, the other option if you don't uh, want to um, use a protocol. So we are going to get back to what we had uh, before. And uh, we can see that uh, we don't have any build issues. Um, the project is uh, building fine. And uh, for this solution, uh, like I said, we are going to use a composition. So we are going to, um, um, to have another view. I'm just going to take, to create another view here, maybe uh, here, another struct called, uh, Let's call it a splash, splash preview, which is just a view, okay? And for splash preview, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take this whole view, right? Pass it here and uh, take maybe these two variables paste it here as well okay and um yeah uh so we are also going to um uh, to add some fields 
as well some properties some simple properties right and uh, let's fix those errors so now we just have um, is loading okay we uh, fixed uh, the errors for uh, this splash preview now uh, this splash view needs a body and we are just going to say that it is a splash preview for is loading it is view model that is loading okay and uh, I think that uh, we have uh, one error remaining and this is a preview so for the preview we are not going to preview the splash view but rather this splash preview right and uh, let's see that okay and uh, we are going just to yeah add the missing arguments build and run we do not have any uh, build errors now let's preview and uh, voila we have uh, the preview running again so uh, here let's say that uh, we want this a uh, true yes we we definitely have this uh, running uh, maybe let's uh, change uh, some text here so these those are localized text but we can definitely change it yeah so uh, we have uh, this running perfectly so yeah uh, you have here uh, two simple solutions of um, getting previews working again and personally i do prefer this approach because uh, you don't introduce uh, um, another object right another uh, complexity to your app so this is just composition you just create uh, a simple view with simple data types you'll uh, want to use inside uh, this view uh, it can be uh, uh, some boolean some uh, some closure uh, or, or strings right and uh, with this approach you can uh, definitely uh, test this view uh, easily uh, when you do maybe uh, some snapshot test and uh, and so on so here it is uh, you have your two options of uh, getting previews uh, to work again uh, let me know in the comment down below uh, which one is your uh, favorite uh, approach and uh, if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and uh, subscribe uh, to the channel to support me uh, it helps me a lot and uh, thank you to uh, noam for uh, inspiring me uh, creating uh, this video and i'll see you in the next one bye